New York. I'm here. I got to New York City at about 6 a.m. And well, I got to the hotel around 6, 6.30 a.m. And I took a nap and then I started editing the vlog from yesterday. And now it's almost uploaded so I can finally leave my room. It is currently 2.30 p.m. So I'm gonna go enjoy New York City for about two hours. Yeah, let's go have a great day. All right, so basically, I tweeted out if anybody wants to help me get Pablo merch in any of the 21 cities that they're doing the pop-up shop. And a few of you guys did help me out. One of the homies was actually in New York and he hooked me up and I just met up with him like an hour ago and I got the New York one. I feel like Pablo on the back. So I'm actually gonna go grab some pizza with him because he's like, you know what? I wanna take you to my favorite pizza spot. It's on me. I'm not gonna pass up free pizza. So, uh, so yeah, that's where I'm about to go right now. We're gonna go grub and then probably hit up a few sneaker shops in Times Square, so. Also, shout out to mag park because i caught this off of them before i left it's the los angeles pop-up shop hoodie and uh i know it's purple but you know it's okay i like to look like barney sometimes what's going on guys so we are finally oh shit it feels good to be back over here i'm with the homie what's good what up he is my pablo plug he was in the line yesterday so uh he actually got me that shirt so i appreciate you man no problem bro you know, I got you out here. <laughs> he actually has his own YouTube channel too. So you want to give him your YouTube channel? GC Kicks. Some of you guys already saw me from the Crew Collection. Oh yeah, he was on Crew Collection. So, I'm back again. Oh, maybe actually I might get a... Oh yeah, what's, what's up? up what's fam? up everyone? I love this channel, man. I appreciate everything, man. I'm a sneakerhead myself because of this guy right here. All Keep watching this channel. All of a sudden got thumbs on. Hey, <laughs> man, I left my Yeezys in the crib. Hey. <laughs> Empire. Madison Square Garden. It's your favorite pizza spot? Yes it is, sir. All right, let's see if it becomes mine. Right across the street from Madison Square Garden. I like that already. You know, you're lucky that all pizza tastes good, so. Oh, wow. We got options. What is this, chicken? Alright guys, so the homie did not disappoint. He brought me to a fire pizza place. It's got that authentic New York City pizza vibe to it. So I appreciate it. Alright guys, so just got done eating. Now it's time to go do what we do best. Buy some sneakers! Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know yet. We are pulling up to flight 23. This was the first flight 23, right? Yeah, in, in America. Nice. All right, let's go check what they got. Every time I come to New York, I end up buying this shoe right here, and then I end up selling it. So this might be the time where I actually buy it and I actually keep it. Oh, they got the all white. Pinnacles? These are ugly as hell. These are the Willy Wonka chocolate factories right here. I like these a lot too, but if this didn't have yellow on it, if it was just all navy, it would have been dope. This is when they're doing way too much with Jordans. With that, with Jordan 1s, with this, what is this fam? This looks like you, you broke your ankle and you need an extra ankle brace. My third pair of New York City Jordan 1s, but these ones are keepers now. I'm gonna just make sure I keep these in my collection because I have the LA ones, so it's only right that I keep the NYC ones, you know what I'm saying? So as many of you guys remember, I started this series on Crew Kicks called Sneaker Shopping with the Crew at the pop-up shop in, uh, in New York. I promised the homie that he would be the person I take sneaker shopping in New York. Now we're not gonna do it this time because I'm only here till tomorrow, but next time I come out, we're gonna do that. I think it's gonna be around the sneaker con weekend time in New York City in November. And then I'm also gonna pick one more person. So I'm gonna do two episodes for New York City because I mean, it's New York City, you know? See you soon. Yeah, man. Thank you for the pizza. See you, see you when you come in like three months. November, yeah. two months. November. Wait, three months, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait guys, before you guys go, I wanna let you guys know that Kais is a very hardworking person and you guys need to cut him some slack. He's working day in and day out. And some people don't don't see all the work that goes into making videos. So you guys should really like appreciate what he does and don't give a whole bunch of hate comments. Like I really appreciate what you do, bro. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the words, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Don't mind the AC. It's hella hot in here. But you know I'm gonna go with the Wale A6 right here. The IC titles for SummerSlam. I actually didn't show you guys yesterday these, but I actually picked these up from uh, the Ben Had Those Fest. These are the these aren't custom, these are the actual ones that came out, I believe. Oh wait, I don't know where they came out, the lighting sucks in here. I think these came out only in a few places, but it's the first ever boost, the ultra boost with the blackout midsole, so 
as you guys can see the white is still the boost is still white but they just painted over it it is time to head to WWE SummerSlam in Brooklyn baby let's do this obviously I can't take this big ass camera inside the arena so I'm gonna be rocking with my G7X today and also, I haven't even mentioned SeatGeek, but shout out to SeatGeek because you know they're the reason why I'm here today. So thank you SeatGeek again for these tickets. If you guys don't know, SeatGeek is the number one place to get tickets. It takes all the websites and puts them together in one place so you can know when you're getting the best deal for the best value and that's why they give it a grade. Like for instance, the tickets that I have today, which are second row, I would give those an A+, but um, SeatGeek grades the tickets and lets you know if you're getting a steal or a good deal or whatever it is, but we'll talk more about SeatGeek later because I'm running late and I want to be there early, so yeah, shout out to SeatGeek, appreciate you guys. Download link is in the description box down below. No, I can't wrestle. Why? Because I'm not strong. You're not strong? No, maybe one day, but not right now. You're not big enough, huh? Yeah, not big enough. How tall are you? Uh, 5'10". Can you can make it? Yeah. Do you know who The Rock is? Hmm? The Rock. I didn't watch that show long time. I used to watch like uh, maybe 20 years ago. Hulk Hogan? I know him. That him. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. He was good. He was beating everybody. Guys, just pulled up to SummerSlam. Oh, I don't know why that guy was filming me. I'm about to get some merch right now. I'm gonna get the SummerSlam t shirt for sure. All of a sudden, fam. What's up, man? What's up, bro? I like that shirt. Got my SummerSlam t shirt. So that booth over there is hella crowded. And then there's like literally no one over here. So I walked over here. That's my, that's my briefcase, fam. That's my briefcase. All right, guys, so I'm about to head inside right now. Super excited, bro. This has WrestleMania vibes to it. They got all the belts over here. All right, guys, we're out here. SummerSlam's about to start up in less than two minutes. Shout out to Seat Geek. Look at these seats, man. Alright guys, so as you can tell, I am back in my hotel room and the lighting is just 
sexy. Anyway, SummerSlam. It was a great, I had a great time. It was a great event. The best match of the night was John Cena and uh, AJ Styles. Roman Reigns versus Rusev didn't even start. I wanted Rusev to win, but it didn't even start because they had like a brawl outside, which was dumb as fuck because this is SummerSlam. It's supposed to be the second be biggest pay-per-view of the year. Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar. The match was great. It was going good. Brock Lesnar does a million suplexes. Randy Orton out of nowhere RKO's him. And then in the middle of the ring, Brock Lesnar starts punching Randy Orton. Orton and from where I'm sitting, I'm giving you my point of view. From where I'm sitting, he's giving him a few punches and they look fake as fuck. And then he gives him an elbow which kind of like slides over his head. And then he gives him a second elbow that just goes bam and you can see it make straight contact. Immediately you see blood leaking. They ended the match there and that's the main event of the second biggest pay-per-view of the year. Why would they end it like that? So obviously that wasn't planned. For all the people that are currently commenting, oh wrestling's fake, it's fake, it's fake. I will show you the video. Yes, wrestling is fake. It is planned it out. It's scripted. They don't really hit each other. They practice moves. But you can't tell me this is fake. That second elbow, imagine getting hit with that, man. But anyway, yeah, that pissed me off. It didn't end the way I wanted it to end. It's whatever, man. Still had a good time. Still enjoyed it. And uh, now I'm in my hotel. It's currently 12.30 a.m. I gotta thank SeatGeek for, you know, sending me to SummerSlam. If you guys don't know, SeatGeek is, like, the number one place to buy tickets. You know, it gives you grades based on, like, whether you're getting a good deal or not. You know, you can use my promo code KAIS. Get yourself a little discount and a redeem code. You can enter that on the Me tab. Yeah man shout out to seat geek man it is obviously when it comes to like promoting certain stuff you know i would only promote it if i honestly mess with the product and i actually you know believe in it so i wouldn't just sell you guys bullshit so when i talk about seat geek um you know it's it's legit so i'm honestly probably just gonna stay in my room for the rest of the night wake up early i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video and i am out of here